Um, moving on to uh, unfinished business, uh, two couple projects. You've got some information on that in your packet. Yep. Um, Mark, you want to comment on those or some yep. questions? Uh, you got a quote uh, from uh, Young Construction for the alternative school building. Um, bid one is seventeen thousand dollars. That is to remove the shingles to the roof. And bid two is to uh, re-roof over the existing shingles. So uh, seventeen thousand dollars <coughs> to remove shingles, put on a new roof, and uh, bid two was uh, thirteen seven to put uh, a steel roof on over the existing roof. And that was the only um, yeah. the only bid that we got. Yeah. <coughs> The, o the only comment when I saw this is when I go from school to school, I notice that most of the press boxes are my own. This is alternative school. Oh, this is alternative school. Yeah, if yeah, we just answer some questions, or okay. if you've got any questions about that, then hold your question for a second, we'll get to yeah. it. When we talked, we talked last month about it, about 12,000 that we're looking at, considerably more. Yeah, I didn't know exactly what these were going on. Mm -hmm. When will this be done? Not this way. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. I don't think. I don't think in the paper this had been done. Did it? No. No. That no. the, the, the uh, press box. Press box had a April deadline, but the roof we didn't put anything. And it's not leaking, so it might be better to whoever gets it let them do it. We'll make it what do you think? Maybe we advertised at the wrong time of year. <coughs> as far as the roof, yeah, yeah, probably. But I mean, I'm not saying that. You know, I'm not saying that this is a bad day either. What's your thoughts know, about the steel over top old shingles? Is that? I mean, if you know you. Aren't supposed to put shingles on shingles, but does it really matter if you put steel over? I would actually say that it'd be better if you did it that way. It's my personal feeling. To do it which way? To do it, leave the shingles on there. Just saves on the price, obviously, <coughs> not that much, but it also tin condenses, gets water underneath it, and <coughs> when it it's only at a certain times a year, maybe two or three times a year, to get to where it'll almost rain inside a metal building, and it does the same thing underneath that tin. So if there's shingles there, it'll keep the, that actual rain from contacting wood and going in the insulation and stuff like that. Just an extra barrier. <coughs> an extra barrier, yeah. How about this, this steel roof? Is is there any kind of soundproofing? And what, what goes underneath this steel roof? I mean, it wouldn't be like... It wouldn't be anything as far as I know. Nothing? Nothing. I mean, I don't know what this bid did, but... It didn't say in the bid to put anything underneath there for insulation or something or anything like that. Well, the shingles may help a little bit there, too. Yeah. But I've been in a couple houses that have gone over the roof with steel, left the shingles on it, and you can't hear when it rains hard. It's, it's weird. It's not like standing inside of an Anza building where there's, mm -hmm. you know, that's a totally different deal. <coughs> so, I don't think noise would be an issue with the metal. When we ask for bids, do we put more specs together than this, or we just, mm -hmm. yeah, okay, this is what we got. So if this doesn't have to be done right away, could you just rebid it in the spring? <coughs> I'm not just asking, maybe somebody else. Yeah, and we've done that on all certain projects. But they also get their chance of getting all sorts of I mean, yeah, the, the concern becomes whether or not, okay, now I know you bid it for this. Yeah, I'll bid it for last and, sure. you know, low volume kind of deal. That happens. When, I mean, he, he put his neck out and gave us a price, so that's always an issue. That's <coughs> like. I think. The tin over the existing shingles is not going to be the best thing, right? Considering the fact that, um, you know, we don't know how long the building's going to be used to, useful to us. This, I think, either way, will probably make the building, at least the roof, last as long as the rest of the building is going to without major, major implications. 
I think there's something on top of that roof. What, what's on top of the roof? I think it's an air, is it an air conditioning unit Did or something? Can that go on the ground? Or? He can go, it, that comes up. You can go around it, flash around it. Is there a reason that thing's up there? I don't know that. I don't even know if that's exactly what it is up there, but there is something up there. Yeah, I remember something getting up there. I think it's on the west side. But this, I mean, could we decide what that is up there and maybe this would be the time to, to move it? To move it? Yeah. Like, to the... <coughs> it almost have to be the... To the south, or to the north, I mean, because... We own the west. We own the west, but there's a parking lot there. If you go to the west, probably. The east boundary, I think, is down to Bethany's. Mm -hmm. Right to the edge of the building. So you can go down there with it. Well, we took that ramp off on the west side. Maybe you go there somewhere. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know exactly what's up there, but that might. this might be the time to, yep. and to get it off the roof. I don't even. Really I don't know what it is, and I don't know why it's up there. It just looks strange. No, I understand. I would agree. It could be something we look at. It's not going to change the bit to be more expensive if you less I mean, than we are expensive to move it, whatever it is. <coughs> make his job easier, so his bid might go up. I'll make a motion we accept bid number two on my construction. Second. We move to second to uh, accept. Uh, Bid for REM construction to for the alternative school building around $13,700. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried.